Yeah, we, um, I think, especially in the first quarter and, and the start of the second or towards the end of the first, they really got us around the stoppages and, and um, got that, that break, but we couldn't pull it back. And I, I thought our third quarter and then, you know, to have 33 inside 50s in the in the second half, it was just our ability to use the ball and, and score um, in comparison to what they did. So, uh, you know, I, I thought it was... Um, a lot of encouraging signs with with some of the individuals, but um, yeah, I just thought their intensity from a team point of view was just greater than ours for the four quarters. And you know, their their ability to go single coverage or man on man um, is better than anyone in the competition. Um, they're they're very good at it, uh, very disciplined, and it's something that um, they've excelled at for a long time. You're disappointed in your own team's first quarter. I guess it was only nine points the difference, but all the, the key indicators were. Very heavily in there, yeah, I thought we'd just down a bit in the first quarter, and uh, it was probably the second though that um, we just missed some opportunities and we didn't uh, defend as well as we could have. I thought at the start of the game, the high ball to Roberts Thompson to score in that first quarter, and then Goods as 50 metre, just sort of they're ones that you know we should defend and, and we shouldn't allow them to score from those positions, and, and they're sort of easy goals, and we just gave a couple of easy goals just to get there momentum or you know them to sort of get settled in the game and we didn't do it as well as they did. Jared Wade had a, a great comeback. You must have been wishing you had him for a lot of the season the way he played today. Yeah, we do wish. Uh, we wish a lot of things. Probably wish Jamo didn't go down either. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I thought uh, Jared's return was um, really encouraging. Um, it just shows how important he is for us. And, and I thought Simpson too and... You know, that was, uh, it took a while for Simo to get going, but I think he copped a little knock around the eight, ten minute mark of the second quarter, and that was sort of the confidence. OK, yep, copped it, and away he went. It was sort of just in front of us, and, and then he really got himself into the game. But Waite's return was um, yeah, really encouraging. How long was he against the women's helmet? No idea. It's up to the doctor and Kate. Um, yeah, just we'll wait and see. He might have it off next week. Um, yeah, that's up to the individual to to wear those and, and if it gives him confidence he should wear it if it if it's a hindrance so I think he should remove it so he'll make that call yep. what do you make on Gibbs on goods today he's had a good record in the past but maybe good playing a bit deep and made it tough for Bryce yeah I thought um, it didn't really hurt him a lot deep he actually got a little bit of Little, uh, a little bit of the ball up the field, sort of you know, just around the 50 or outside of the 50. There was a couple there you could have been, um, you could have been the great Stephen Silvani or Jeff Southby. You couldn't have stopped. It was lace out, no pressure on the uh, the kicker, so he got it on a platter. So there was a couple there that Bryce couldn't stop. Um, yeah, we, we only moved Bryce because we thought the game was getting away from us around the ball. Um, so that was a call to change, I suppose the the dynamics uh, of the individuals and put people in different spots to see if we could change that because we tried something tactically, it didn't work and then we thought it was now down to the personnel to maybe uh, change something up. What does this mean for your season? Do you feel like you're still on outside chance? Or... Yeah, we are. Yeah. I, I, I think since the, uh, you know, since probably the Port Adelaide game, I think our form's been pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I, I still say we're a chance. Um, it's a slim one, but it's still it's still going. So while we've sort of got a heartbeat, we'll um, we'll make sure that we keep pushing on. And um, it's just good that we can play some kids and give them the opportunity as well with Kaz Bolt and Bell. Um, while we're we're still trying to make finals. Your assessment of the Swans have won nine in a row now, and probably haven't been talked about as much as a few of the other teams up at top. But what do you think about this sort of season? Oh, they're a very good team. I think uh, you know they. They're probably underrated, and uh, I think they like to be underrated. That's why they uh, it, they just carry that and and uh, just put you know hose everything down, and they do it very well. And they're as good as um, you know, they're as good as nearly anyone going. I think Hawthorne and them are, are the two teams, and I think Kangaroos formed over the last six weeks or so has been outstanding as well. So um, yeah, I, I rate them. I think defensively they're very very good. Going the other way, where they've improved the most, so just their efficiency with the ball. Um, 
I think their systems are a little bit different uh, with ball movement than they have in the past. So um, that just creates a little bit more uncertainty in the way they play. But uh, there's no doubt when you go through the statistics and that their their games are just disputed ball percentages. That you know everywhere you look, they have the most game where disputed ball percentages are the highest in the competition. So they just play that game and they play it very well. Yeah, he's, uh, we'll have to wait and see, but um, yeah, probably uh, hamstring. We're not sure of the degree um, exactly where it is. You know, it was where it was sitting in the game. It was sort of moved the magnet and concentrate on the game. But um, yeah, he was in really good form. He was playing really good football. So we'll have to have a look at that next week. Hey. Can you hey. ask Cruz one? Just why is he? No. We asked him earlier. Okay. Have okay. okay. we got one for Cruz? I know what you wanted. Yeah, oh, come on. Matthew, why don't you tell us four weeks left? Yeah, do you feel that you're still playing well enough to, to hang in there and, and hopefully make it? Yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, we've just got to look at each week now and we're to go out there next Saturday against Brisbane and put our best foot forward and hopefully get a win. That's all we can focus on ourselves. So, no, looking forward to it. Yeah. Thanks, Cruz. Okay.